the Skyclaw begins moving to the blocks by using a predetermined position that is read by the position sensor. Once over the stack of blocks, the claw moves down a predetermined length, also using the potentiometer, in order to center over the blocks. In order to determine weight, the sky claw first clamps onto the block at full force. After hovering over the heavy stack drop location, it will release the block slightly. This is enough to drop a large block, but not enough to drop a very light block. If it is a light block, it will re-clamp onto the block and then move over to the light category. After each time the claw drops a block, it automatically goes back to the top of the stack. The height of the stack is determined by a loop that iteratively subtracts off the height of one block each time one is removed. In order to read stiffness, the sky claw closes a predetermined length and then measures the force sensor. If the force is above a certain threshold, then it is a stiff block. If it is below this threshold, then it is a soft block. In order to read reflectivity, the sky claw stops above the block before it grasps it. In this amount of time, it takes several reflectivity readings and then takes the average and if it is above a certain threshold, it is a high reflectivity, and if it is below this threshold, it is a low reflectivity. Every time the sky claw determines whether the reflectivity, stiffness, or weight is high or low, it immediately saves it in a binary format where one is high and zero is low. The sky claw also keeps track of the block number. The block numbers start at one, which is the top block, and then goes down to eight, which is the bottom block. This is iteratively added on each time it grabs a new block. Every time it places a block in its category, it prints out all of the characteristics of the block, starting with block number, reflectivity, stiffness, and weight. This is shown in the serial monitor in the bottom right-hand corner of the computer screen. An if statement at the very bottom of the loot program asks the sky claw if it has reached the bottom of the stack in respect to its Y position. If this certain value is met, then the sky claw stays at the home position above the original location of the stack. Here is a screenshot that shows all of the outputs.